Hey everyone. Welcome to Connect. Meta's got VR, they've got AR, they've also got AI. I'm here at Meta Connect 2023, and the talk of the show, besides Quest 3 and new smart glasses, is guess it, AI. AI has been everywhere this year. And no surprise, Meta's diving into a lot more AI tools as well. One of the ones talked about was this wild idea of multiple AI personalities that are eventually gonna lead to a studio service where you can make your own AI next year. Some of these AI have Tom Brady or Snoop Dogg as a dungeon master. Let's get medieval, player. What is going on? And how does this connect to the Quest 3 and smart glasses? Well, right now, the idea is that some of these AI tools are finally going to start living not only in Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff, but also in the Quest 3. These AI chatbot, whatever you call them, personalities, are going to take the form of more of text-based interactions, the type of things you'd see in ChatGPT and elsewhere. You'll kind of pick the card that fits you. You know, something like, you know, do I want to talk sports or do I want to get cooking stuff or do I want to hang out with that Tom Brady coach guy thing or, you know, whatever Snoop Dogg's going to do with the, D with the Dungeon Dragon stuff. Your quest begins now, player. I'm laughing because it's kind of like NPCs in video games. In fact, the images are a bit like that, you know, recorded with celebrities and animated, but they're meant to, to color and illustrate what the chat is doing. It's not that everything Tom Brady has been installed into that and then you see Tom Brady's face. He's putting a face to a personality. Seriously? How could you not know that? It's meant to be a demo of where you're going to start going next year. And in Quest 3, it won't be playing games with you or being your companion in VR yet, but it'll appear for you to interact with. Maybe that'll be easier than having to type something up if you want to get information. I'm actually interested in where it's going to go with the smart glasses. Meta's got new Ray-Ban glasses that have a new AR-optimized chip inside made by Qualcomm. They don't have displays, but they are promising next year to start recognizing things in the real world and be able to get feedback, maybe read off or translate stuff. This sounds like Google Glass without the displays. Now, right now, Meta is just planning to have a general Meta AI assistant work on those glasses, to kind of talk to and be able to get feedback about what you see. But I like the idea of, you know, cooking and looking with these glasses and then suddenly cooking AI guy is going to appear and help me. That's sort of Meta's vision down the road. At the same time, you've also got a lot of other companies competing in this space. Obviously, Apple, Vision Pro, and you've got whatever Google and Samsung and Qualcomm are working on maybe announced in the next year. Some of these initiatives are going to lead to software tools, certainly with Apple, maybe not AI yet. Google, probably definitely AI. And Meta's working in the middle there, figuring out how they're going to develop those tools. In the Quest 3, it's a mixed reality headset. The glasses, they're cameras and microphones. And maybe the AI is the layer in the middle. MetaQuest 3 and Connect 2023, they're kind of throwing all these pieces together to see. I understand the headset, I understand the glasses, I don't really understand the AI fully yet. But when we get to see it in action, it may make a lot more sense. It's certainly intriguing. Anyway, if you have questions, leave them down below. Make sure to like and subscribe as well. Thanks.